Sometimes we get driver power state failure on our computer and we have to troubleshoot this issue with the help of some of the troubleshooting methods and steps. First troubleshooting method would be to restart your computer. Restart would just resolve your problem and you would be able to work as is you were working previously. But if the issue doesn't resolve and you are still getting this error, you have to follow troubleshooting methods to resolve this issue. So let's go ahead and start the troubleshooting. I am on my computer screen and we have to restart the computer into the safe mode. To restart the computer into safe mode, we have to press the power button key and interrupt the boot process two times. So I am going to do it for my computer and will show you how to enter into safe mode. So this is the boot process and I just restart the computer to interrupt the boot process. This is the second time. I am going to interrupt the boot process and at the third time we will get the preparing automatic repair options and now we can log in into safe mode. On this screen you have to click on advanced options and then click on troubleshoot. On this screen we have to click on advanced options again and then click on startup settings. In the startup settings you will find these options and we have to restart the computer. So these are the options and we have to select the numbers key on our keyboard to select and boot into these options. So I'm just going to press the four number key on my keyboard and then will enable the safe mode. So once you enter into safe mode, you have to right click on the windows start menu and then click on device manager. This error occurs because of uh, display drivers and you have to expand the display drivers and then right click on the display drivers and then click on update driver. Click on search automatically for drivers and then click on close if the drivers are already installed and then click on close. Check if the issue resolves or not by rebooting the computer. If the issue doesn't resolve you have to reboot the computer into safe mode again and then come on this screen display adapters and right click on this and then click on properties. In the properties you have to click on driver. Let's assume that you have installed drivers and after installing the drivers, you are getting this error. Then you have to roll back the drivers. Click on roll back driver and then select the options from these list. I'm just going to select the my apps don't work with this driver. Click on yes and then click on close. So you can see Microsoft basic display drivers are now installed Then I can just click on scan for hardware changes. Right click on the driver again and then click on update driver. Click on search automatically for drivers. So the VMware drivers are installed now. Check if the issue resolves or not. If the issue doesn't resolve then you have to right click on the adapter again and then click on uninstall device. Select this option. Delete the driver software for this device. If you have NVIDIA graphics card, you have to download the NVIDIA drivers from NVIDIA website. If you have AMD graphics card, you have to download drivers from AMD website. So click on this option and then click on uninstall. After uninstalling, as I said, you have to download the drivers and install it again on your computer. So like this, you have to troubleshoot into the safe mode for drivers. Once you perform these methods, you have to check if the issue resolves or not. If the issue doesn't resolve, then you have to follow another troubleshooting method. To follow another troubleshooting method, you have to click on the search box and then type CMD. Right click on the command prompt and then click on run as administrator. Here you have to type the command dism.exe space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup hyphen image space forward slash restore health hit enter this process is going to take some time like 10 to 15 minutes it depends upon your computer performance after the process is complete you have to restart the computer and check if the issue resolves or not if the issue doesn't resolve you have to follow another troubleshooting method Type CMD in the search box and then right click on the command prompt and then click on run as administrator. Type SFC space forward slash scan now and hit enter. 
This process is also going to take some time like 15 to 20 minutes. Also, it depends upon your computer performance. Once you complete this process, you have to restart the computer and check if the issue resolves or not. If the issue doesn't resolve, you have to follow another troubleshooting method. Click in the search box and then type power and sleep options or click on edit power plan. So in the edit power plan, you have to click on change advanced power settings. You have to expand sleep and then in the sleep, you will find sleep after you have to select never in the settings and then click on apply, then click on OK. Click on close, reset the computer and check if the issue resolves or not. If the issue doesn't resolve, open the run box and then type control. Click on power options. In the power options, click on choose what the power buttons to do. Then click on change settings that are currently unavailable and then uncheck this option and then click on save. Then select the plan and then click on change plan settings and click on change advanced power settings. Click on wireless adapter settings and then in the power saving mode, make sure maximum performance is selected and then click on apply, click on OK and then restart the computer, check if the issue resolves or not. If the issue doesn't resolve, you have to right click on Windows Start menu and then click on Device Manager. Then expand network adapters and right click on the gigabit network adapter. Click on properties, click on power management and then uncheck this option. If this is check, simply uncheck this option and then click on OK. Restart the computer and check if the issue resolves or not. If the issue doesn't resolve, you have to format the computer and reinstall the Windows operating system on your computer. So that's it guys. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe and press the bell icon to enable notifications for future videos. Thanks and bye bye.